Welcome back tubers, it's the end of the day and I'm outside and what I need to do is give the solar panels a wash down. It's something that I haven't done for the last two years but it's something that should be done on a yearly basis. The same thing as washing the house down once a year, the outside of the house, really good idea to be doing on a yearly basis. But solar panels in this case um, are obviously quite important to keep the performance up of those panels. Now a lot of dirt and grime um, sits at the very bottoms of the panels and we really want to be cleaning that off at least once a year. Depending on the angle of the solar panels and depending on how much rain you get will really depend on how much washes off automatically. However there's always um, bird crap and things like that that do really sit on there and it get baked in over the summer um, months. So it's a good idea to wash them off. That being said, two things we're going to use. First of all we're going to use a brush and a long pole and it's a brush that you'd use for washing down the windows or washing the side of the house down. So this is the first thing we're going to use and the second thing that we're going to use is we're going to use some truck wash. Truck wash is really good, this is obviously a heck of a lot of it, you can buy it in much smaller quantities but this is really good for washing down the side of the house with um, and to get off the dirt and grime but it's very good for cleaning off the tops of solar panels and things like that. It just removes dirt and things like that and the first thing you want to do is just spray it on there, let it sit for 30 seconds, give it a good brushing off and then spray it off with water. Obviously don't do this when it's sunny because the truck wash will dry on the solar panels and then you'll try and wash it off and you'll see that the, the dirt hasn't moved very far and hasn't washed off. So the truck wash will really just loosen all the dirt and, and any grime and things like that and then you just spray it off. So it's really quite simple. We do that however, we want to make sure that we turn off our solar disconnect to our roof to make sure that our roof is disconnected from our inverter just to make sure that because we're going to be spraying water all over those panels this panel set at around 300 volts for each of those strings that I have on the roof and the last thing I want to do is get a shock so to help mitigate that obviously turn off the solar disconnect your one will either be on the roof or it'll be beside the inverter like mine so turn that off and then get up on the roof and clean those panels so that being said let's get up on there so this is how the solar panels are looking on the roof. Now it's actually a much windier day than you would see from the camera and I've also sped this video up. It's a 30 minute video and I sped that up about 100 and 280 times or something. So it's much quicker than you'd um, normally watch it back with and which is why the camera movement is um, showing a lot um, more. So the first thing to do is obviously have everything up on the roof so it's nice and handy. And the first thing to do is spray the, or change the, the hose bit to the spray bottle and then just spray that truck wash all over the top of the solar panels and then pick up our brush and then just brush it all as much as possible um, obviously this first one is quite easy to to brush and what I find or what I found is that um, after doing the first four I kind of got a bit more into rhythm now as you can see the drone moved uh, away and that's just because of the wind um, and I wasn't controlling it so it ended up getting back to where it was actually meant to be um, but yeah there's a bit of wind there. So what I did was I first kind of started on the first three panels there and now moving on to that fourth panel. What I what I kind of found myself doing is that after about doing, or after I did six panels I kind of got far more into a bit of a rhythm and uh, while I was up there I was trying to also do it as quickly as possible because obviously I was mindful that we've got the drone up in the air and it's videoing me and um, I'm, yeah, I'm just trying to work as quickly as possible before um, there was a bunch of rain clouds coming over so I could have done actually a much better job if I had a little bit more time but because I wasn't keeping track of how many solar panels I was doing I actually ended up watch, washing a couple of solar panels uh, twice but hey that's okay and you might notice that um, when you watch back this video if you watch it a few times but either way after doing this the first time this is actually the first time I've ever washed the solar panels up on the roof but after watching, uh, washing it the first time next year is going to be obviously so much more easier because I've already done it once before as you can see there after doing that brush I'm now washing those solar panels back off again and making sure that it's done before any of that um, truck wash dries on the panel. When washing the house you really notice um, if you don't wash the solar panels off, or sorry, if you don't wash it off quick enough you'll see that it just doesn't remove the muck. It's very hard to show that on the solar panel especially on this video but um, take it from me that um, the best thing to do is to wash it off uh, after you finish rubbing it before it dries. So now I'm moving on to the next set of solar panels there and yeah 
I've sped that up just to the next part here but as you'll see because you don't really need to see detailed about how I'm washing it it's just kind of nice to I suppose see the complete process there but and you can see really just that drone moving around quite a lot um, yeah it, it's a, the best thing to do is obviously do this when it's cloudy which obviously means normally when it's cloudy um, at the end of the day it's, it's potentially going to rain or the winds picked up and that's exactly kind of what happened in this case uh, today however we've got a nice sunny day and um, it would be a nice still day as well with no wind but um, that's not the best time to do the, the wash so as you see there I'm pulling along that hose and I really try not to fall off the roof there was actually a couple of points that I um, when, when brushing and I'll try and show you in a second or we'll tell you about it in a second when I next get to it um, that the brush gets caught on the very bottom of the solar panels and because you're pulling the brush forward and back uh, with those um, the bottom solar panels uh, it was um, at this point here it would just flick over the edge and then um, kind of mean that I would get jolted forward a little bit so you've got to be extremely careful when obviously washing these panels because obviously if you do fall uh, the solar panels are wet and slippery and you just slide straight off just like being on a slide so that's obviously not what you want to do luckily for me this is only a single story house um, but obviously falling off is not the best idea and um, you really want to be if you've got some kind of safety harness or anything like that it's obviously a good idea to wear something like that but um, in which case for me um, yeah I'm trying to do it as carefully and as quickly as possible um, to try and get this on video but most of you guys won't be videoing it and you um, won't be trying to do a few things at once so and obviously trying to do it as quickly as possible the main points is obviously to wash the very bottom of the solar panels as, as well as possible because that's where, really where a lot of the dirt um, turned out but also those bird um, craps that were also on the, the panels those need a bit of a scrub to get them uh, get those off and um, obviously, obviously once again we are washing those panels down and I've just I've actually got some rainwater catchment that go to some water tanks so for this for the next couple of rains I'm not going to be catching that part of the water because I don't really want um, soapy truck wash or any dirt and grime um, getting into my tank water but either way as you see there that pretty much that process is all nicely done and then the next part is obviously being very careful on the roof because it is now wet and try not to fall off once again so guys if you really like this video subscribe and like and I'll see you guys on the next video thanks again for watching